Hello, I finally got my own 3D printer. I always wanted a 3D printer, but a few years ago they were quite expensive, they were hard to assemble, hard to properly level, and in many cases they were there was little documentation about using specific printers. Today's situation is much better. 3D printers became affordable and easy to use thanks to modern features such as auto-leveling or similar. In this video I will show you my longer LK4X 3D printer. Longer is sponsor of this video and if you want to check this printer, link is in description. I was afraid of 3D printing, but 3D printing is not that hard. It is fun and interesting. I was a complete beginner and a couple of hours after I received this 3D printer I was able to print this ship. Later I designed and printed many other cool models. I will show you them in a minute, so stay tuned. Product came in this box. What I love about this printer is how easy it is to assemble it. It practically came pre-assembled. After connecting two bigger parts, Z axis with the rest of the printer, I needed to connect a holder for filaments, probe for bed leveling, this controller part and few other tiny parts. Printer came with all needed tools, which is great, and they also included a few meters of filament for starting. With the printer I also received this micro SD card and this reader. I didn't know that I don't need to attach my PC to my printer. Modern 3D printers have SD card slots. I can easily copy my files or designs I want to print on SD card. Then I can navigate and choose the file I want to print using this controller part. I'm a complete beginner and I never used 3D printer before. I used similar device, a small CNC machine. That machine was hard to assemble and it was always connected to my PC. I like this SD card concept more. But what I like the most, I expected that the SD card is empty. But I find that, that all needed files are already on the SD card. There were a few examples for testing. This cube and this penchi. And on SD card I also find that software I need to install. And software definitions for this printer. And the best part is this included video. Which will guide you step by step how to assemble this printer, how to level it, how to install software, how to configure software and how to slice. As complete beginner I didn't even know what is slicer software. Using this video I was able to start using this printer and I was able to start printing in shortest time. Included manual on paper was not full of informations. But this video is all I needed. Later I find that video is also published on YouTube. And after installing the printer, fun started. First I printed models that were included on SD card. This nice cube. I don't know, can you see the layers? But they are very nice. And this benchy. These files are often used to calibrate for calibration of your 3D printer. This 3D printer is a modern 3D printer and it has some cool features. So using this was quite easy. It has proximal extruder. Result is better control of filament motion with less motor power. Intelligent auto leveling. It is 
equipped with 16 uh, points pre precision leveling to, ens to ensure correct distance between platform and nozzle and it, it has magnetic flexible heated bed. Removing plastic models from this was also easy using this included tool. I will not lie to you, 3D printing is not as simple as printing text on paper. You are dealing with melted plastic, so you need to play with few settings to improve your results. You can see that here I have few imperfection because my printed was not leveled properly. I try also to download few files and to print it. For example, I printed this little soldier. It remind, uh, reminds me of of toy from childhood, army men or I don't know, little green soldiers. It was fun to watch. my printer printing this. And then it was time to design something my own. Printing other people's work is fun, but I wanted to make my own stuff. I will use this 3D printer for my electronic projects, for boxes, cases, holders, holders mechanical parts and so on. But first I needed to learn how to create 3D models, so I find that this Tinkercad, which is a free, easy and beginner friendly software, also it is browser based, it was a good place to start. So I made this little box for, I don't know, coins or small electronic parts. parts. I also included this name. And my next attempt was a fail. I tried to print some mounts or holders for my for my development board and as you can see results was not that great. But after few videos I find a solution so how I was able to print this, this piece which will hold my loved ESP32 development board. I don't really need this, but, but I just wanted to see how precise is 3D printer and to see will my screw, screws fit. And they fit perfectly. And during the print you can also fine-tune some settings directly on the printer. But this YouTube channel is related to electronics, of course, so I, I wanted to show you my last print. I wanted to show you this cool toy, this fan controller based on 555 timer. Great toy for kids that want to learn electronic. So here is, sorry, here is DC motor, 555 timer board, battery and this switch. And of course two potentiometers that can be used to set intervals and timing. And overall I'm very happy with this, how this turned. And I'm very happy with my new 3D printer. I was complete beginner in 3D printing, but I was able to make something in a very short time. And what is most important I had lots of fun. 
I enjoyed learning process. I enjoyed testing different models. I enjoyed designing stuff. And I can't wait to make something more complex in the future. This printer is really easy to use and you will see it very often on my channel. It is affordable but the build quality is great. That's it for today. Don't forget to check links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and please tell me what you think in the comments. Have a nice day and I almost forgot. Happy New Year!